I'll be reacting to those Snow White Notes episode of I'll be watching it from Crunchyroll's website and I will be starting my reaction in one zero go. I'm pumped up for this. Gotta admit the animation looks so damn beautiful and pristine. Thankfully though, it seems like at least current day the sound is coming back to him on the positive side. Hmm. Music platform. Hmm. Hell yeah. I mean, hey, why not? This could help out improving our boy's sound, too. There are bees around people that are also starting to learn how to utilize the shamisen. They're gonna be in for a shocker, aren't they? Yeah. His mama set this up. <laughs> oh, man. They did know they were forming a club. I love how he's looking like. <laughs> Yeah, I bet some more. Aru uh, pretends there's nothing. Oh, so they still need to recruit one more. Yes! He looks like a sweet man. Oh. Oh, so he's actually used to doing it under pressure then. Hey, I like that. A man who wants to do some self-improvement. Aww. I mean, yeah, nothing wrong with being involved in two clubs. I mean, hey, why not? This could actually be good because... If our boys face a decent amount of adversity, this can make them stronger people in the long run. Potentially. Dun, dun, dun. Right up. Fucking love it. The opening. I was like pretending like I'm playing the shamis in. Oh, yo. Fuck. I, lo I love this. I never get sick and tired of hearing this opening. Konetanu. Dun, dun, dun. Do I probably look stupid pretending I'm playing the shamis and inserting bits of the opening? Hell yeah I do. Do I give a fuck about that? Fuck no I don't. I don't give a shit. Mm. Fuck yeah. Man, something about this opening. The reason why I don't give no fucks is because, I mean, just look at my, what I react to. I react to some, um, pretty spicy stuff, so. Me pretending I'm playing the shamis in while the opening's playing is nothing in comparison to some of the, um, stuff I react to, which, to keep the video as PG-14 as possible, I react to some really spicy stuff sometimes, uh, to keep a long story short. To say the least. Or now it's here. Hmm. But I think eventually though he's gonna have a he's gonna need to have an expansion of goals eventually. That's a my gut feeling. That's gonna be quite a big responsibility on Solo Marta though. Hmm. But hey, this could be good for him in the long run though. But hey, at least he's tackling the challenge, though. Hmm. It's gonna be a tough, though, because only three member. Hmm. Huh. <clears throat> <laughs> I love that positivity by Shirley there.
And they're going to be in for a shock. He's just probably trying to find the best way of teaching them all. <clears throat> Makes sense. The best they start with the fundamentals. That's what you always need to do when learning something new. It can actually speed up the process a little bit more. Let's not fucking get the way he's looking at this. <laughs> wow, talk about sets being a complete natural then. Man, I wish I had a Samson with me to be playing around with that while they're playing around with that just for the fun of it. I <laughs> love like the eyes, like the white circles on one of them. It's fucking adorable. <clears throat> he looks like his soul is a dying the way he's looking at them. He's, you can tell he's trying to keep it in. Mm -hmm. Hmm. He's gonna need. I wouldn't be surprised if he's so. <laughs> now if he had a stand he'd probably summon it <laughs> nah it's the user oh. I mean he's trying to be a oh whoa The thing is, though, they're going trying to go for a competition. I could see why he's trying to give them some tough love. I don't mind them raining on the animation here, considering that they're probably saving it for competition. Maybe you should try um seeing some videos on Samisen instructions. I don't Oh Yes! You can see the lava again. Hmm. I mean hey, she's doing whatever the hell she wants. I like how she's ignoring our boy's question. I have a feeling she's lying. But she's a smooth ass liar though, so, so I'm cool with this. Huh? <laughs> Talk about her exposing herself. Sounds like those fucking cannonballs. Upstairs. Sounds like someone's being choked. Uh, it depends on the type of fighting we're talking. Ow. Aww. At least now we know why she wants Zeta so badly to. The thing is, though, she has to take into consideration what his 
where her son where her son wants what's the thing Who knows, maybe he'll consider entering both. But then again, would he have enough time to do that? <laughs> I love how he's getting all hyped up for this. Ah. Hell yeah. Now it's gonna all get pumped up. He's saying that, but I'm pretty sure there's a chance those feelings may come back eventually. Oh! Okay, that puts something into context there. Kind of feels similar to the beginnings of Zetsu's grandfather. See why she's doing that. She's trying to rile up something within our boy. And I'm disturbing the apple car like this. It's his sound, that's who it is. It, can't, it isn't anyone else's. It's a sound mixing with the experiences of all the people he's met in his life. That's what it is. That's really sweet seeing her actually train more. Aww. And the others too, whoa. It really took was it to set the heart there. You'll find it eventually. It's just gonna probably take a long time for that. Hmm. Hopefully things go much more productively in the Shamisen Appreciation Club this time. I'll cross my fingers on that. That's good. We we have some Zetsu character development. He's a many one. He's a bit too rough towards people. The thing is, though, he got he's gotta be himself. He can't be like his grandfather. Maybe he can take snippets of it, but that's it. Uh, that, that is wrong. We saw a few moments ago that the prodigy wants to hear Setsu's own sound. But, yeah. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's not true you wouldn't know that, but still, regardless. And plus, I'd venture to know, I'd venture to say that even the mother wants to hear her boy's sound. And 
well, that, how can that not, bro? No, that is definitely going to motivate him even more. Oh. Hopefully it's some positive news. <laughs> this is fucking adorable. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, but why would someone like come? But they're trying to match. They're trying to match him, though. That's the thing. They're probably trying to do that subconsciously. Whoa! That's a good point. Maybe it could be a mix of both when it comes to comic key. Hopefully Zetsu ends up pulling off the piece better this time. The thing is though, our ball. I like how she had that. Yeah, okay, I think he'll pull off this time because the animation looks better. Yeah, because they've been raining in this week with the animation quality, but now it looks good. No, it's not a bit more lively if you ask me. Hmm. Hopefully it ends up better this time. <laughs> oh yeah, I man, her boy is young. But he'll get there eventually though. Oh yeah, he's trying to definitely draw even more out of Zetsu here. I think I know why Kamiki's doing this. And showing the others how it's done. Hmm. I mean, hey, that's just the way Zetsu is. Nothing wrong with him having. <laughs> this dude! Uh. But that's what makes Kamiki so lovable, though. You just feel the like the tension here when you see them just hit the strings. You know, like the shamisens and the sweat. My goodness. This is just pure bliss for the years right now. Woo! Yeah, it's probably going to give them an example of how it is when... Our boys a lit well, yeah, showing the possibilities of what happens if ever if they're in sync. What could happen is Setsu is in sync with the others in the well no, if the others in the club are in sync with Zetsu. Hmm. And now Kamek is out of what he wants. <laughs> At least in this specific moment. And I love the way they're animating like the vibrations of the waves, of the sound waves too. Look, it sounds absolutely phenomenal. I mean, hey, finally though. This is going to be a nice revelation for Zetsu, at the very least. Now he's experienced 
truly playing together with someone else. Hmm. I don't think it... The advice was... <laughs> oh, they're adorable! No, they definitely got something out of it, though. Yeah, experience. That's what they got out of it. It didn't record properly. Or maybe... Oh, oh, what the fuck? Yo, that's perfection. Oh. I mean, that's why he's a pro. And it, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. That's why I said Kamiki got what he wanted. <clears throat> oh, I like that. At least it's who ain't pissed about that. <clears throat> or maybe he is. I mean, hey, some people have different ways of showing off their anger. Oh, he, he had fun then. <laughs> Whoa! Aw, that's a nice growth there! <laughs> but he sounds like a sin today there! In a good way. Hmm. Aw, that's such a cute little scene there. <laughs> Aww. Oh. Okay. Damn, comic is a uh, hard ass in them in a good way. Holy shit. I'm not gonna blame them. I mean, they, they see the animation quality for the Zetsu and Kamiki dual performance, so it makes sense that the animators would prioritize the most important thing midway. It's nice to see them all improve together, though. Ah, oh, it's over. Fuck. Overall, though, great episode. I'm gonna rate this one straight up. An 8.75 out of 10. It was a phenomenal episode. I mean, what else can I say about this episode other than... For a one? We got some... We got character development for Zetsu because here we see straight up that... For one... He's actually finding things about himself that I didn't really know before, like how he doesn't mind being guided along on occasions, even though it does irk him a little bit. He had fun. And that's what I like, just seeing Zetsu have fun aliven up a bit, because he deserves the he deserves that at the very least. And aside from doing that regarding our boy, I love how this episode also shows how he struggled that bit when it came to teaching the others, but eventually he did get better. I think uh, that was really nice because it makes the scenes where you see the others learn even more, it makes it feel more monumentous because we're not just seeing the others learn, we're seeing Zetsu learn, but in different lessons though. Here, he's learning different experiences when it comes to collaborating and being guided along and also, how not to be too rough on people. And while the others, they're learning how to better utilize the Shamisen, and they're also bonding with each other. So love how this episode emphasizes that everyone is getting something from learning how to utilize the Shamisen. And that's what I love. And then aside from uh, that elements in this episode, I'm liking the character I learned for Kamiki, where he's... Uh, Taking such a major interest in 
our boy that he's even taking up time out of his day performing straight up just to rile up something out of him and I thought that was actually pretty damn freaking cool if you ask me. I think it layers Comic Key into a much more interesting individual in the series. And on top of that, I do like how Umiko just upset the status quo with her saying that she spent money on making the competition scene. That's his reaction. It <laughs> looks fucking hilarious. And it was nice to hear the reason as to why she made the tournament in the first place so that our boy can get recognition. But the thing Umiko has to realize is sometimes you gotta let your children do what they want to do. You can't just guide them in the direction you want them to go towards because that ain't right. But at least here it's important.